Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats. Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats. Today is Thursday, October 22nd, and you're back for a full day of learning. Glad to see you back, mm -hmm. remote and in-person learners. Absolutely. All right, today we're going to read a book. What do you do with an idea? Well, it's written by, who's it written by? Uh, Kobe Yamada and illustrated by maybe some. Ooh, it's a New York Times bestseller. It is. All right, let's see if we can figure out why it's a bestseller. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? Mm -hmm. <laughs> At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. Oh, look at that. There's his little idea following him. Hmm. But it followed me. It's relentless. <laughs> Ooh. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away. I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, my idea wanted a lot of attention. That's really weird. <laughs> it grew bigger, and we became friends. Oh, he put it in a backpack. Aww. Isn't that cute? So creative. It is. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly, and many of them did. They said it was no good. Aww. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time mm -hmm. and that it would never become anything. That's awful. I know. And at first... I believed them. Oh, no. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. Oh. I almost listened to them. Oh, he looks so sad. Mm. Desolate. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. I often have really weird ideas. You have really good ideas. Oh, thank you. Sometimes you I think they're them with weird. Me. And sometimes they're weird, but it works. Sometimes. Yeah. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. Aww. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Ooh. Aww. It's like the idea is growing. I know. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands. Because it said it is good to have the ability to see things differently. Oh, that's that's true. It's a good point. It is. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Aww. Then one day something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings. It took flight, and it burst into the sky. Oh, it's it's like it came to like fruition. A, like a meteor. Huh? Yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, what you do with an idea, you change the world. Oh, I like that. Oh, what a great story. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you and your teachers can come up with ideas that one person came up with, and it revolutionized the world. Absolutely. There's so many things that's popping into my head mm -hmm. right now, Mrs. Randall. It only takes one person to make a good difference in the world. You be one of those, okay, kiddos? Go and make a difference in the world. And speaking of differences, 
a couple weeks ago, we celebrated Custodian Appreciation Day. Yes. And so we gave the custodians like all these yummy, delicious treats. And so we wanted to let you guys know that just because Custodian Appreciation Day is over, doesn't mean you can't appreciate them. So when you see Exania, or if you're here after school and you see Charles or Jared, just tell them thank you because they work really hard, especially this year to keep our building safe and clean. They do. They work so hard cleaning it. Mm -hmm. They look like ghostbusters. They do. With, with the their little machines. And the machine spraying everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Go out of the way and say thank you to them if you see them. Yes, absolutely. All right. For lunch today, you will be having French toast sticks with a boiled egg or an all beef hot dog on a whole grain bun. Huh. <laughs> Weird combination. <laughs> Also with deli roasted <laughs> potatoes, red pepper slices, and a petite banana. Oh, a petite banana petite. again. And they are so cute. Hey, and then tomorrow for breakfast, you're going to have a beef fit bar with applesauce cup. Okay. <laughs> so enjoy that. <laughs> All right, we do have a few birthdays today and yesterday. We've got... Nicole Perez in kindergarten, Courtney Elson in first grade, yeah. Nathan Jackson in second grade, Melissa Munoz Sanchez in fourth grade, and Sofia Viramantes in third grade. Feliz cumpleaños! Oh, happy birthday, kiddos! All right, let's stand. All right, up we come. All right. Okay. Yo, Oprometo Lealtad. A la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. All right. I will be respectful. I will be respectful. I will be responsible. I will be responsible. I will be safe. I will be safe. I will be kind. I will be kind. And I will do my best today for... This day will come no more. Nope. Make it a great one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.